I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the important role of the G24 and their, your able leadership in dealing with monetary and financial issues. The G77 and China stresses the vital need for ambitious and expeditious reforms of the Bretton Woods institutions, particularly their governance structures based on full and fair representations of developing countries in order to address the demographic deficit in these institutions. Second, the IMF must provide more comprehensive, even handed, and flexible financial responses to the needs of member countries without imposing or duplicating financing and setting the rules for policy exchange. The G77 in China stresses the importance of the participation of the developing countries from the outset in all discussions on national monetary reform and the operation of the new arrangements for social giving rise to the international monetary fund. The group calls for a strength of the United Nations role in the international economic and finance affairs, including its coordinating role in global economic governance, likewise its importance for more. Greater coverage of the global life relations and the international financial institutions, including the early review of implementation of the cooperation between the IMF, ESF, and the Bretton Woods institutions. In addition, the need for reform of the international financial institutions so that we have a financial and monetary system that reflects the realities of the 21st century and should be appropriately regulated in order to promote the sectors of the existing and historical sectors of investment so that capital markets can be mobilized direction and play a constructive role in the global economy agenda. The more transparent financial and regulation of financial liberalization of the resources are being derived from massive expansion of the speculative financial flows and gender transformation. The CIOM financial and economic crisis has been illustrated by the international finance Activity and economy of the time. It has become increasingly distinct by the real economic production, price of investment, debt creation, profit creation, earnings creation, and expansion of investment and wealth creation. The exclusion of the international financial capital market and how it has been misused to allow for the creation of the greatest single asset available currently and has led to a significantly transitional and complex response. Our main task is to overcome inequality. Since the concentrations of wealth coexisting with poverty and hunger emphasize and exposes the unsustainable partners of consumption and production.